party people in the place to be. Live from 58 Dream Street, this is Friday Night Frost Haven. And, uh, oh, whoops, the absent Rich Sprite is just covering Rich's face. There we go. I'll have to fix that, I think, on every screen. But that's okay. We can do that. Here we are. Yeah, so it didn't it didn't quite pan out. But you can tell that I was... <laughs> no, you can tell that I was... Yeah. That we were anticipating Michaela's arrival because she has picked her personal quest now. Uh, mm -hmm. So we can talk about that in a moment. Uh, but hey, first, man, Rich, Rich was a real party pooper last night. Basic <laughs> telling James and Craig we're definitely not playing with Michaela tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it so, looked, it looks you, like we might though. Yeah, you said sixty percent. Uh, it, there was a reasonable shot. Uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? She was on call. She got called in. She was very apologetic. Uh, said, you know, she even picked her battle goal. She was holding on. And that was after, as far as I can tell, she had been called into surgery. Uh, she she picked a battle goal. This is, it. This is her first, uh, like, she just started on the floor that Hannah's been on for, I know it's not 10 years, but it feels like it. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> for quite some time. Uh, so I think this is her first, uh, like her and Tony's first call weekend. Okay. So they're just, they're just figuring it out, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It only builds anticipation. And also this is episode 48. So if we do this scenario in two episodes and the timing works out next time, then we have a big special thing for our 50th episode. Uh, but anyway, here we are. Some of us did come. Oh yeah. And also, mm -hmm. geez, Michaela picked a name, <laughs> which you can see. So check it out. We got player one playing Dr. Becky Goodpain. Uh, the ace their pain conduit is Rich. How you doing, Rich? So good. Computer is being mean today. Uh, well, but... some of the some of the computer problems turned out to just be the headphones. Oh, it was 100% all me. Whatever the yes. camera thing was, there's no way my computer was like, I will set myself to this weird thing. <laughs> Hey, we got it worked out. We're here. We made yeah. it. Player two. But old not... Goofy Hands Rich did it. Did the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Player two. Old goofy hands. Not joining us yet tonight, but she almost did. Uh, and she will someday. And she'll be playing, in, in addition to a personal quest, she picked a name. She'll be playing the Vermling Trapper, the Red Rocket. So uh, Dr. Becky Goodpain and Click Trill Snip Click are like, what's up with all these gimmick names? <laughs> Can't anyone just have a regular <laughs> serious name? Uh, it's going to be Michaela. I promise. Someday. I shouldn't promise things that I can't actually, I don't have any control over delivering, but, but that's my promise to you. I will somehow deliver that. A player three playing the Inox Drifter, the biggest hobo. It's Greg. How you doing, Greg? Pretty good. How are you, James? Well... Speaking of James, player four, playing the Lurker Deep Wraith, click trill, snip click. Your host here at 58 Dream Street, the game runner, the show runner. It's James. How am I doing? Pretty good. This was a good week leading into the uh, the break week, which I've come to realize. And it took me a, a ridiculously long time because I went to university and then just stayed there forever. And so I've had plenty of time to realize this. February break is stupid. That's bad timing. Like when you, when you go, I went to university. It was just like, oh, they have March break in February. Okay, that's just how they do things here. But especially now that they added a break week in the fall term and it's November break, mm -hmm. you it really drives home that you want a break in month three. A break in month two is just really disruptive to all. Like everything I try to schedule gets harder because of the timing of the break week. When the break week's in the third month doesn't disrupt things because you know you're coming up to the term project so that's a week where they can work on it or they can ignore it but in the middle of the term like we're doing smaller stuff and so like you don't want to make anything do on the break i'd love to not make it do right after the break ah it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter it is the break now I don't but think about on the other hand for about 200 of the like twenty thousand people that go to that university <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, it's really good timing because all of the conference championships are the weekend after the break. Mm. So, ah. you know, 
they don't have all that nonsense to think about next week. As yeah. long as, yeah. as long as, that's good. <laughs> as that long as good. they don't think they can just like go home and have a break, they're they're gonna be yeah. just fine. <laughs> good. Well, good for them then. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, here we are, and although we don't get to debut Michaela tonight, we do get to debut a couple of new uh, mechanics. Yeah, some new rules. We are going to experience the challenge system for the first time, so that will be part mm-hmm. of scenario setup. Uh, in fact, I suppose we might as well, I don't know that it matters that we execute the road event and the challenge in the correct order, but might as well look and see. Well, the road event, I th- think, comes before the challenge, I do, 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 do. Oh, it doesn't right. seem sweet, to matter. Sweet road event that we, when we were ahead, and we What's had that? a road oh. event. And we were like, we don't have to because we already did it. Yes, that was the yeah. road event. So technically, we're supposed to have resolved the road event as step two, and battle goals doesn't even come in until step nine. Uh, yeah, but th- none of that matters. I don't think. I, I mean... think we'll be okay. Uh, so. We'll do the road Does event. It matter in our hearts, James. It doesn't. We'll do the no. road event, and then we'll and then we'll draw the challenge. We'll learn about that, and then I'll read the scenario text, and we'll go to it. And then when we go to the scenario, we get to deal with the new, very appropriate to the game, Frosthaven mechanic, icy terrain, which works exactly mm-hmm. like you would expect icy terrain to work in any kind of top-down game where you have motion in three hundred sixty degrees, or you know. Not 360 degrees, in this case, six directions. But you can move in every direction. There can be ice tiles. What, do you need a road map here? You can see what's going to happen. But it should be fun. I think this scenario, which, hey, is our first Marcel scenario uh, in mm-hmm. in uh, in Frosthaven. I think it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so let's get started. <clears throat> I, I'm I'm looking over at the stream, so I know you didn't put air quotes around fun. No, but, but it sounded like it in no. your voice. Well, I apologize then, because what I was trying to convey is that I think this is going to be fun. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be. I think this is uh, the special rules, at least in the first room, and it's a Marcel scenario, so maybe it's going to get shitty as we go. Uh, but I think in the first room, the the special rules are actually really simple. But I think they really complement at least the layout of the first room. But before we can get to the first room, we have to get through the road event. And this is Winter Road Event 08. So we are not, uh, this, is, this is an OG event. This did not result from any of our decisions or actions. It was always there. The giant boughs of the willow bone tree hang low, heavy with the ice of the season. The picturesque grotto features an iced over pond. During the warmer season, it would be fed by a waterfall, which is now frozen and anchored to the cliff face overlooking the area. The ice over the pond is sturdy and supports your weight easily. The frozen waterfall beckons you closer with an unnatural blue light, and as you approach, you can see glowing shapes moving behind the ice. It's a cave of some sort, now sealed off. The ice is much too thick to get a decent look, but you can feel a supernatural chill that turns your stomach. The waterfall likely hasn't run since summer and has a rough surface that would be perfect for climbing. The top would put you right underneath the willow burn branches. Option A, make camp in the middle of the iced over pond. Option B, climb to the top of the waterfall and make camp overlooking the grotto. Okay, so... Could you repeat that? Not the whole thing, just the options. Yeah. Uh, option A, we can camp on the middle of the iced over pond. Option B, we can climb the waterfall and make camp overlooking the grotto. So this is very climb much... Like... <laughs> we can climb a frozen yeah. waterfall. I feel like... This is very much a... I don't think this is one we can reason out. No, I don't think it is. I Unless, do feel like if we camp in the middle of the thing. Is there any clues you think in the text that indicate that the, the lake might be frozen? Like not, not as frozen as it looks? Uh, no, the text in fact says the ice over the pond is sturdy and That's supports your weight yeah. easily. And the description of the waterfall says 
It is a rough surface that would be perfect for climbing. We can't lose, according to the text here. <laughs> but obviously... My suspicion is that we can't. We could also I, just my lose. My suspicion is that, yeah, it's all, it's all losing. Um, I kind of want to climb the waterfall. I feel yeah. like we could do it. And I don't know, like, we've never seen an event where one of the conditions had something to do with whether you have the climbing gear or the, like, one of the three vehicles or the the axe, the travel techniques, whatever you want to call them. But that could, like, we do have the climbing gear. I don't know. I don't know that that's going to be a mechanic at all. But also, just it sounds more fun to climb the waterfall. It sounds like a nicer view for overlooking the grotto. And it really does feel like the ice just breaks if we try to sleep on it. Yeah, that's my thought. Well, I bet we'll just like be idiots and try to jam pegs into the ice. And that's yeah, break. <laughs> that's, true. that's true too. The rules might be screwing us in terms like of we like can't, well, we can't we can't choose how we set our tents up. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're we're gonna try to climb the waterfall. Let's climb it. Option B: climb to the top. Here we go. That's oh, the bad one. <laughs> They're both the bad one. You know this. No, I can. I, hey, Burner Camp. Welcome. We we didn't wind up getting Michaela, but oh my goodness. Up until two hours ago, it seemed like we were actually going to maybe get her. Maybe. Yeah. Someday. That's how we all felt. Some. Well, I know, I know. But I, I, I got to believe. I gotta keep hope alive. Okay. <laughs> the frozen waterfall provides easy handholds for climbing its surface. And before long, you're standing at the top, looking down on the grotto. You can even reach up and touch the willowburn tree branches. It looks like a great spot to make camp. Before the buzzing starts. <laughs> in a burst of angry yellow. Are ice bees? In yeah, a burst of angry yellow. Thousands of bees swarm your party, driving you back well, down we know the for waterfall. Well, a fact that rope can hold them. Yeah. <laughs> if there are not 100,001 bees, uh, then we should be able to comfortably go down. That was a really funny thing. That's the thing I remember, which means it was, that, was the, that was the best ever writing in this game. Martin, Martin had mentioned in his comment last week that uh, they should have made the description say that the climbing gear can support 100,000 bees or one alpaca, which led me yeah. down a rabbit hole of looking up the average weight of a bee and the average weight of an alpaca and determining that it would be one alpaca and negative 300,000 bees uh, if it was going to be equivalent or 380,000 bees. <laughs> negative bees. Yeah, bees are real small. Bees with anti -bite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in a burst of angry yellow, thousands of bees swarm your party, driving them back down the waterfall. You're out of breath before they give up the chase. All characters start the next scenario with impair and discard two cards. Ooh. For whatever impair reason, means... they decided this one is, is a, negative. This this is a persistent one, so it's going to go back into the event card deck. So if we ever well, come we'll again, know not to we know the not to go up. Next time. Yeah. Yeah, so these are interesting bees. I guess they are northern bees. So to begin with, we've already gone into the realm of fantasy. There's no reason that bees would exist in a frozen climate to begin with. But yeah, they don't seem to be like, they're not, I know it's not hibernation, but like the thing that insects get where they're just kind of dumb. For a, Yeah. They go into a weird stupor for the winter. I think weirdly enough, if we talked about this exactly not that yeah. long ago, I think we yes. would stupor. Yes, I think you and I had this conversation quite recently. Somewhere. I'm not sure Somewhere. exactly where. Probably Somewhere. on the internet. Okay, so there's that. It is time to draw our first challenge. And I've drawn it. Wait, actually, hold on. Let me get my impair token down. So I remember I'm impaired. Yeah, so impair is the one where we can't use items, yeah? Yeah, but it goes away at the end of your turn. And I gotta decide two cards to discard, I suppose. And I guess I'll go with this one. Ooh, but actually. Oh, they're all so great. Um This is a reasonable one to drop for now. And I can live 
without. Oh, I've got to look up the rules for items. This one for now. Okay. So, speaking of rules for items, here's our challenge, which we have the option of not accepting. If we don't accept, it goes to the bottom of the deck, which is never shuffled again. So it will be quite some time before we see this again if we don't take it. I can't remember what the benefit of clearing challenges is. Perhaps. Uh, challenges? Yeah. It would be on the sticker. You could look it up. Yeah. Maybe we should know before we accept or deny this challenge. Yes. Uh, oh, hey. Each character gains two experience for each challenge active during the scenario. And oh, okay. the town guard gains one check mark for each challenge active during the scenario. And just all... active? We don't need to complete the scenario? Yeah, we should have to... Uh, well, this is four completed scenarios. Oh, like, four completed scenarios. We get it if we complete the scenario. But if the scenario is lost instead, the rewards are not gained, and the challenges go back to the bottom of the deck. But if we clear them, they're gone forever. We never encounter them again. The challenge this week, our first challenge, should we choose to accept it, is shoddy craftsmanship. Whenever any item would be spent, it is lost instead. Should we take this challenge on? So every item becomes a one-use item. I have one spending item, so I'm quite all right with us taking this on. Rich? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and Burner Count uh, has, a, has a perk for us, which is that uh, tied to the Town Guard benefit of getting perks, uh, we get to read a section. So oh. there are benefits. Okay. The shoddy craftsmanship challenge is in effect. I will, not tonight, but in the future, come up with a way to display what challenges we have active on the screen. But for now, I'll just keep saying it. Shoddy craftsmanship. Okay. Here we go. Not only I'll is this our, not only is this our first Marcel. That doesn't mean anything to the folks at home, Rich. We haven't read the text yet, so we're still on the gang screen. Uh, Sad. <laughs> it's not only our first Marcel scenario. This is our first encounter uh, with Isabella Kriteshka Matatsis is writing because this is designed by Marcel and written by Isabella. Scenario 65. A strong foundation. Responding to an alarm bell, you peer over the main gate of Frosthaven to see a group of unfamiliar figures approaching through the night's freshly deposited snow. As you watch them, it dawns upon you that this group leaves no trace of their movements, no footprints in the snow. Acethers. You signal the gate open and descend to meet them. Okay. Okay. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> oh, James is thinking of a voice. I am. Okay. This is a lazy joke, but I'm doing it. Greetings! Eight shimmering forms all move their mouths in unison, but a single voice appears in your mind. It's my voice. We have come to ask for your assistance. You wonder why this group of acers act and speak as one. And they explain as soon as the thought reaches your mind. Well, the betrayer brought about our dissolution. We're not strong enough to bring back our forms back on our own. But through strong ba ba uh, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> Through the strong bonds of our former life, we found each other in the vast emptiness and decided to meld, to become as one. Only by doing so do we bring ourselves back. We're not strong, the voice of eight continues. Not in the sense that others of our kind are. But if you help us, we'll provide you knowledge in return. We decide to help, and the figures immediately lighten their expressions. Here are thanks. We've located an old elemental array that will assist in keeping our forms anchored to this plane. We cannot recover it on our own, as lesser spirits and malevolent creatures infest the area. Voice of Eight leads you to the snowfields north of Frosthaven, where an unnatural fog rolls in, giving you the feeling that the air itself has been frozen. You continue forward, the Aesler's quiet, and always a few steps ahead. Before long, ruins appear on the edge of your limited vision, some sort of protective structure. The cackling sound of impish creatures can be heard long before your eyes find them through the frozen fog. They throw small stones at the heads of large undead creatures, failing to get their attention. Your appearance, however, draws the attention of both. Dun, dun, dun. dun. And yep. so, here we are. 
I will give a quick preview of the entire scenario layout. It's three rooms in a in a stack. Very good. Okay. Uh, so, special rule. One special rule, which I have given the uh, gimmick title of when push comes to shove. All monsters add push one to their to their all their attacks. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I even, Martin, you'll be proud of me. Not only did I double check the rules about ice to make sure I understood them precisely, and now I do, uh, I also reread the rules on pushing. So we should be, we should just be able to proceed without me constantly needing to be like, Greg, Google this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens there. So ice, just to, to review in full, is like ice in any video game. If you move into an ice... Okay, so here's the real tricky part. <laughs> I guess we can kind of see what's an overlay, but... Yeah, I can see what's an overlay. Yeah. So the overlay tiles that are basically the same color as the ground they're on are ice, yeah, yeah, yeah. not snow. Snow is crunchy and gives you a bit of traction. Ice is slippery. If you step onto ice, you will continue moving in the direction that you entered the ice hex in. Uh, and that will continue until you are not on an ice hex, or if you collide with an obstacle or another figure. Right. So there's one aspect of what we're dealing with here. Next up, just need to double check something here. Oh no. I need to double check something in the rules. I'm 99% sure of what I'm about to say, but I want to be that extra one. 100%. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Got it. Great. Uh, so the other tokens, these are just rocks. They're obstacles. Can't go through them. Yeah. These, okay. the ice spikes are hazardous terrain. You absolutely can slide into the hazardous terrain and take damage. So, uh, those are the core rules. And so you can see what the gimmick of the scenario is. It's a lot of enemies trying to push us across the ice and into the spikes. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Like, again... And how much damage does Hazardous Terrain do? Gives half trap damage, which at a level two challenge, which is what we're playing at, is, well, it's three, so uh, Hazardous Terrain is two, because it's half rounded up. Okay. Two damage. So, Rich, whenever you want, you can walk into a hazardous terrain and give yourself two damage. I yeah, you, you can have all the pain, yourself. all the pain you want, and you so immediately good. have some ice on it in case it's too much pain, or if there's yeah. swelling. You know, all these kinds of uh, scenarios can come up. And you know, like we've commented on the fact that while they did it, like there's a maturity to the aesthetic uh, that they achieved here in Frosthaven, and also it makes sense thematically. For the unity it is kind of a sameness but it did occur to me earlier mm -hmm. that in the same way that you know like you, you get older and you think like oh man this stuff i used to complain all the time uh, and i didn't even have to pay rent or a mortgage now i realize how good i had it back then one day we're going to be playing desert haven possibly with michaela and rich <laughs> and rich is going to be like so can i move into that hex right there and i'm going to be like no rich that's sandstone you can't go on the sandstone. He's going to be like, okay, the hex next to it. Okay, you want to go in the quicksand? <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, is, this is, this, it could be worse. It, it quite possibly will be. So here we are. This is, this is where we lay our scene. And would our goal, Desert Haven just be called Oasis? It would be called Sand Haven, but. I was thinking ahead to the fact that the joke about sandstone and quicksand is, is ruined if I've already said sand. <laughs> so I, I made the sacrifice on being less realistic about what the game would be called. If they, they could if call they it Sunhaven. Sunhaven? I don't know. Sunhaven? Heat Haven? No. I don't know. Heat no. Haven? That's got to be like a magma world. Yes, that's, you're right. That's, that's like Bowser's, world. That's Bowser's domain. Okay. <laughs> Bowser's, yeah. That comes at the end, once we've done everything else, and the final villain of all of Haven games is <laughs> Bowser, the king of the Koopas. That would be pretty sweet. I would not complain. That would, that would be way better than the gloom. 
as a final enemy. <laughs> yeah. even, even with the lack of uh, thematic consistency. Okay, where are we starting? Four. Four. Yeah. The pain uh, conduit I begins in four. I can go absolutely anywhere. Well, then... Three. Sit. All right. The drifter's in three. <laughs> uh, Switch the sides. Click, click trail, slip <laughs> click. We'll begin in two. The enemies we're facing, we're all familiar with to a degree. Uh, the snow imps, horrible imp variation added for Frosthaven because they innately cause brittle. And if you're brittle, yeah. then the next hit you take doubles your damage. Uh, the living the living bones are just living bones. Nothing Can't really changed about real. them. And the frozen corpses, we realized we don't really remember in exactly what way we've only encountered them like once or twice and they aren't just living corpses reskinned they're they're a little different mm -hmm. so i mean they're obviously the thematic replacement for the living corpses but anyway so here we are and oh, we let's... should also say um the bones have shield one and uh t n innately two targets yes and the uh the frozen corpses themselves also have shield one and the elites have a retaliate, retaliate one, one. Yeah. Okay. So, How many snow imps are there? Uh, uh, two, there are like two right now. Two snow imps, two frozen corpses, two living bones. Graham, so were we, and we came so close. Uh, well, you know, depending yeah. on how needlessly optimistic you are. So from Michaela's perspective and my perspective, we came close, and Rich realized last night it wasn't going to happen. Uh, but it's going to happen. The day will come. And right now, if it works next time, because we'll probably take two episodes for this scenario, it'll be the 50th episode spectacular with Michaela debuting. Whoa. Uh, good time Hooray. for me to reiterate yet again that we have the Shoddy Craftsmanship Challenge Active as our first challenge. All items are, lo are uh, consumed when used, even yeah. spent normally spent items. Although... A long rest doesn't get anything back. Inherent items just stay inherent. You don't, they don't get consumed upon the first time their effect works. So that's nice. I don't know if we have any items like that. Well, armor's like that. I have some armor. But isn't your armor spent after... Yeah, it... it... It was I was thinking more like to, like that. You there was like a you were thinking helmet. Of a permanent armor effect, yeah. There, yeah, there's like a helmet that makes it so you don't take times twos. That kind yep, of deal. There's a few things like that. Okay, all right. So I want to do a better job of being click trill snip click this week, and I believe that I can. I believe in you too, James. I'm going to act quickly, and not really do that much. But more than nothing, and lay in some, some foundation. A strong foundation, perhaps. Okay. Is everybody ready? Speaking of strong yes. foundations, James, I don't believe I have to tell you that I believe in you. <laughs> because you know you, that he does. You don't. <laughs> I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll put my marker down. The voice of aid is the boss of this scenario. I don't know. I'm not this scenario, but this quest. Yeah, line. this quest line. Okay, yeah. I was gonna they're, say this scenario. No, you know but that they're, time of the... they're gonna they're gonna be the everything but the voice that asks you to help them in Gloomhaven. <laughs> of this, that's my call. I mean, maybe not, but we'll see. All right, everybody, ready? Round one. Put them up, team. Boom. And. I gotta flip a bunch of cards for the bad guys, which I'm doing, and sound off. What do you got, Pain Conduit? 78. 78? Late. Ooh, yeah, Drifter, how about you? 17. 17. All right. Uh, well, I'm going first, the Deep Wraith, followed by the Drifter. Oh, okay. Maybe he's a little closer. Followed by the Drifter, followed by how are the bad guys gonna go? It's going to go Frozen Corpse, and then Living Bones, and then Snow Imps, and then the Pain Conduit will bring it home at the end. The uh, All of the enemies are in the high 60s to mid 70s cluster, 
but not quite oh, at okay. 78. So, what's happening? The frozen corpses, when they act, are going to do Thawed Strike. They will move minus one, which for the normal is a move zero, and for the elite is a move one. They're probably not going to be a factor unless we choose to make them a factor. Uh, mm. If there is fire, they will consume it to move to add plus two to that move. So if they're thawing from the heat, they can get their joints working a bit better. Uh, okay. However, they will also take two damage if they do that. And then they yeah, will do an attack plus one at the end. Being on fire is bad. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. The living bones plus. will do focus stabs. So they will move regular, which is three for all of them because they're just normals. And then they will do all of their multiple attacks, or two attacks, all on the same target. And then finally, the snow imps will do calculated strike. They're going to move minus one, which is move one for them. And then attack plus one, which is an attack two, at range three, and again, causing brittle, which is really the concern here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, start us off, me. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I will use the top, or the bottom, sorry, of lacerating stabs to teleport three. And in so teleporting, actually, I'll teleport to, I might as well go to here. Yeah, James, remember the push? Oh, right. Hold on. That would have been a terrible spot to be. Yeah. Yep, that would have been. Whereas this is better, because the snow imps are going last, so they can't push me closer so the other things get to hit me. Uh, and after having teleported, I can wound one enemy within range one. I will wound. Oh, wow. I totally miss... I don't have a great angle. I should have looked at the screen in front of me. Uh, that's a living bones and not a snowing. But either way, I'm still happy to wound it. So please yeah. wound living bones number six, Greg. Dunzo. Excellent. He's on his way to being dead. And then, mm -hmm. oh, oh, whoops, hold on, sorry. At the start of each scenario, as the decorated veteran, I gain two skulls. I've got two out of my five skulls active. And this time around, I'm not just going to collect them and then look pretty. I will engage the top of skull collection which is a persistent ability that will now be active for the rest of the scenario, or at least until I'm defeated. And during my turn, I can perform any number of the following three abilities. I can consume a skull to poison an adjacent enemy. I can consume a skull to wound an adjacent enemy. Or I can consume a skull to infuse darkness. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. So, uh, I've got that up. That's my first turn. Drifter. Okay, just looking... Oh, first of all, I just saw a note I left on my sheet, so I want to remind that. Rich, remember that you made a healing potion. Oh, wonderful. I yeah. can just use it any time? Yeah, only... Yeah. Heal what three. Oh, I is. just realized a nice a nice thing here. Uh, What's that? A bad thing and it. Oh, yeah. It's actually... First of all, I'm not, even though I mistook what I was standing next to, the bones are going after the corpse, so the, they're not going to ping pong me over to the corpse to get hit again. No. But also, I'm not going to take two attacks from the skeleton because it's going to push me away the first time it hits me. Yeah, like true. And it doesn't have a move. Yeah, what a, yeah. What a dumbo. All right. Uh, okay, but hold on. I'm just, I'm just doing some math here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, it would, so it's going to target you. Well, I can't get this to target Rich, which I think Rich would enjoy. So instead, I will just uh, move one. Yeah, one forward. Uh, and then as part of that movement, I gain shield one for the round. And then I will put up crushing weight. So my next six sources, my next six melee attacks add plus two to their... Damage. Can't get enough of that crushing wind. Not to the damage. To the, to their, uh, no, to the damage. Da da da. Okay. On brittle me. All right. Is that it? No, he's not going to brittle you. That's why I. Sad. I, I was brittle. trying. So I was bad. doing the math on that, but you, you and uh, you and James are both five hexes away. 
and so it's going to target James over you. So Especially because James is going to get pushed closer to it. I'll be brittled one day. You'll be brittled one day. You got to get it up in its face. You got to make it want to brittle you. I'm going to brittle him right back. Ooh, yeah. I am going to get beat on a little bit here. I'll be okay. I'm sure I'll be okay. Uh, okay. So, it's corpse time. Frozen corpses are doing a move. Well, the, the elite doesn't move one. The normal doesn't move zero. And then <laughs> it's done. Good stuff. Good stuff. You can't tell me that's not the sound they make. <laughs> I I have not Agreed. played I've not played or even like watched very much or barely any of the Gloomhaven PC game, but I I assume when the living corpses move they make that sound. It was a major oversight if they don't. Okay, bones time. <laughs> uh, the bones are doing regular move, which is move three. So bones number two will go one two three up into the face of the drifter. And he Up into thinks, your face. Hmm? He'd oh, attack you. Fair point, Greg. Uh, wait, hold on. One. Oh, yeah, because it. Wait, no. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Distance wise, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess I'm in a real. I'm not in a great situation here. But I'll be okay. I'm Maybe. not. I might be, or I might be just absolutely, I might have just blown it all. We'll find it together. All right. Okay, so here it comes. Uh, the really bad part here is that the push is no longer going to help me, actually. So I'm going to take four hits from the skeletons and then both snow imps, which at least will get the brittle right. off oh, me on a weak attack. You can get further away Oh, from wait, him. right, because, yeah, right. I reread the pushing rules and there's there's no, like, it has to be the opposite direction it's not like yeah it just has to be further away further away which you can do it's like i'm gonna like squeeze out like a soap yes okay so first up it's going to do an attack two upon i didn't think of all this push deep breath it's a minus one yeah there's a lot the, the pushing adds a, a lot, lot, yeah, lot, to, a lot. To, yeah, but what can you do? Okay, I am pushed. I take one damage because it pulled a minus one. But this actually improves my situation overall. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take the brittles. Yeah, it can't hit me with its second attack. This fella can still hit me. So it's going to do an attack too on click trail snip click. No, which you love oh, to nice. see. And, and he takes one damage. Push me away. He takes one damage from his wounds. He's leaking marrow uh, everywhere. Gross. Disgusting. But also delicious. Yep. That's what they say. I've, I've never, <laughs> I couldn't confirm. Although there's often like, uh, you know, like inside of fruits and vegetables, there's often like a, a tasty fluid. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like the bone marrow of the plant. Uh, okay. Now. Trying to figure out if I can get it working here to play the game without constantly leaning out of frame. I don't think I can do it yet. Uh, however, the snow imps, whose turn it is, are going to move one and then attack range three. This one has no target yet. Its target will be, let's see. Well, it can only move one. So it's definitely doing this. One, two, three. One, two, three. It is going to attack me. But that's okay. Uh, this is an attack one that causes. Wait, it has brittle. range. It has range three. Range three. Can't get you. Is uh, it on top of that obstacle? That's, that's four. Yeah, no, I'm counting wrong. Yeah, that's four, my, my man. Great, great. It's beautiful. Thank you, Graham. Everybody teaming up to help me with the fact that I can't count. Uh, <laughs> My big problem here is that I'm, I, I, I shouldn't have even started thinking, you can do it. You can stay turned to the camera while doing this. <laughs> uh, okay, so nothing. Good stuff. The other one, however, will move forward one and can attack me. the drifter. Yeah. This is an attack one upon the drifter. Minus one, 
no damage, but the damage isn't really the. That's not what gets you. It's the brittle. Yeah. And so, so I'm the brittled and pushed one. Is brittled and pushed one. Yeah. Even the little the snow imps on, yeah. come forward and they go, Meh! and just their like their imp dust or whatever it is that they attack us with, sends us so, flying. And now, bring the pain. Oh, um, I'll summon Flesh Friend in front oh, of me. Flesh Friend's a dangerous addition to this. Yeah, <laughs> it sure <laughs> is. Yeah, it is kind of sad. This this would be a very, very fun scenario uh, to drop the trapper into. Yeah. So it's a shame. The trapper but, or the, the, the neck, the, the, the bone shaper would also be insane with the amount of, just the pure amount of chaos of every yeah. time you turn stuff. Flesh Friend's going to make a lot of fun decisions. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then I'll play the bottom of the Agony of Others. That's just the one where I can deal out the damage that I suffer. Awesome. Okay. Um, and that is all. Sweet. Okay. That's round one. It's in the books. Okay. I'm going is gone. Two. You're what? Oh, yeah. We're all, all no damage. longer impaired. Sweet. With the item use flow. I didn't wind up taking as much damage as I thought I might. And I did not end up getting brittled. So even though I have a healing potion now, I won't Probably won't be using it yet. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. This could be a good one. Ooh, this is... Yeah, here it is. This is... Okay. Part one. And then... What do I want to do at the bottom? Oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. I'm acting late, and I'm being violent. Oh, yeah. I guess we should discuss things. Somewhere along the line, we sort of started mind-melding a bit more on what sort of things we can do. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of back. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make Greg not brittle. Oh, nice. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to continue the setup and deal with some damage. I'm not sure to who yet. It's going to depend on what everyone's doing i'm just yeah i have i have designs on hurting these bones although it will depend what they do first but hmm. i can hurt the bones i bet okay okay i'm ready everybody's ready? ready all right round two put them up team boom i have a different camera setup so i'm getting used to where i have to hold my cards to show them to the camera all right uh, sound off, team. Uh, ping onto it. What do you got? 25. 25. How about you, Drifter? Also 25. Oh, -ho. secondary cards, gentlemen. Sad. 43. 62. Yeah. <laughs> ping onto it. Proceeds the Drifter in initiative order. Uh, followed by. Ba Boom. Snow Imps at 43. Living Bones at 45. And then the Frozen Corpse, again, it's 68, but this time it's Thawed Strike. Same deal, oh. where it's just this time the fire would make the attack. No. No. This time. Oh, Thawed Strike is the name of the other one, too. And they are just oh. literally the same card. They're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah I thought we were, I thought it was going to be a switch to it affecting the movement uh, the attack instead of the movement. But no, it's just the same thing. And then okay. the Deep Wraith will go last. Uh, the Bones are doing nothing special, and the Snow Imps are doing Dark Charm. It's an attack minus one, so an attack zero, but they add Curse on top of the Innate Brittle. And if there is any, any what element... If there is any element in the air, they will add... Uh, they will consume it and add a target. Mm. Which could be bad. So, uh, bring the pain, Rich. Oh, well, first Flesh Friend. Oh, yeah, Flesh, right. friend Flesh Friend walks forward and punches. Boom, all right. He slides on the ice, bumps into the corpse, and then he's angry, <laughs> so he punches it in the belly. Attack one, 
Pull it Plus two. Plus two. Hey, that's two damage. <laughs> All right. Good night, burner account. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I hope that the uh, video on demand is is uh, entertaining. It'll be for it, sure. I mean, it must be. <laughs> it would be totally bizarre if you were still hanging out with us after all all this time. If you didn't fun. <laughs> all right. So uh, three damage. Two damage. Yeah, he does have damage. one shield. Ah. Uh, yep, that's true. Great. Um, I mean, not, but okay. Uh, so if I move. Actually, I can move up one without sliding around. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, with the bottom of explosive wounds, I'll move up one and remove all negative conditions from an adjacent ally to gain all of the conditions removed. So, I'll take Greg's brittle, please. Okay. Give that to you. It's now my brittle. Yes. And now, with the top of line of transference, I can attack three, no, or attack two, range three. Um, so that is who should i attack well the snow i'm going imps... to give them brittle oh uh, it'd be funny to give the snow imps brittle it would be funny but i don't know that it's the best move yeah like who are you gonna hit in uh, like one second from now greg whoever you put brittle on well <laughs> put, it on, put, it, put it on the corpse because it has the most capacity yeah. to take damage okay so i will attack to range three on that corpse and remove the condition from myself and give the target the same condition okay amazing so great two, conduit work attack two plus one okay so two more damage and he is brittled that's not a good place to be if you're mm. a stupid corpse correct <laughs> all right good work pain conduit give me the beat greg and free my soul so first thing I'm going to do is put up a chunk of flesh. So on my next uh, six sources of damage, I add shield two. Which, what do you think about it? Sounds like either one of our moves and not really yeah. your move. <laughs> then, <laughs> then I'm going to use unending fight. So I'm going to attack two nothing because there's nothing standing next to me. But then I'll move three. I'll just move up two to be next to sort of between the uh, everybody. Sort of in the Straight middle. Right up in yeah. the mess. All right. Right there. Uh, then I will attack him for two, which becomes an attack four because of crushing weight, which becomes an attack eight because of brittle. <laughs> oh, no. How does... I want, yes. to, I want to make sure I get brittle right. Is brittle just to the final damage or to the attack? Uh, no, it's to the Ooh. final damage. I mean, we, okay, we so can okay. double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's a deal where you can apply it when you want. And why would you ever not oh, want to do it so again? So it could be 16. <laughs> it could Real. end up being 16. Hold on, let's see. It's, it's um, the next time the figure would suffer damage from any source, the damage is doubled. So the okay, damage so is not suffered until all the modifiers are piled on. Okay, so for right now, we're at 8. We'll see what happens. <laughs> for right now, we're at 4. We will see what happens with this card pool. That makes it five plus one, doubled it, it's ten. He is super dead. Hooray! Yeah. This frozen corpse is now um frozen chunks. Dead. Splat. I'm helping. Yeah, you helped a lot. That was great. That was some group <laughs> pain conduit work. Oh, just improved my setup a little bit. Found a better spot for the token tray. Boom. Splatter. And there's some loot there. Very good. Okay. Is that it, Drifter? That's it. All right. It's bones time. This bones is going to go first. Uh, obviously, it's target. Wait, can it? Oh, no. It can. It's going to move like this uh, to get two targets. Oh, is one of them my guy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. It uses the fewest movement points possible, so it'll step here to do it. But it'll Can still it get me and guy. my guy and not Greg? No. It no. will not do that, because Greg is its focus. Uh, but it steps to there, and it's going to do uh, attack twos. So this is an attack two on the flesh friend. Pulling it, plus zero. Uh, okay, flesh I'll, friend? I will suffer that damage for flesh friend instead, so... 
the guy who did the attacking also suffers two damage. All right. I assume that all of the joints in Flesh Friend's thumb make terrible sounds as it gives you a thumbs up over its shoulder. <laughs> and then... So that's two damage to number two? This is number two that's doing this, yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. And I then... can give that damage to any enemy within range three. Should I give it to the other guy? Ooh, you should give Ooh, it to the Ooh, you should give it to the Snow Imp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two damage to the Snow Imp. Tasty. Which Snow Imp is that, James? That is Snow Imp number four. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Okay. And then, and then, it does also an attack two on the Drifter. But it's another. Oh, the pushes. Don't forget the pushes. Uh, oh, yeah, because Flesh Friend can squeeze out like a bar of soap. Uh, and then it does an attack <laughs> two on the Drifter, but no damage. It's extra gross when it's Flesh Friend uh, squeezing <laughs> out like that. Like, it's no not damage. that. No, no damage. It got nulled, but you do get pushed. Huh. It's not as. Okay. Like, when Click Trick and when Click Trail Snip Click gets pushed out like you know her, her shell is slippery because it's wet because she's walking through the snow like it's just normal when it's, it's the, totally normal when it's all the slippery <laughs> flesh it's a little grosser mm. okay uh well this bones has two targets for sure well he takes the damage first ah, yes he does uh and then he steps forward so he'll attack the drifter this is an attack mm -hmm. two on the drifter minus one uh, with my shield, it's nothing. And then he'll do an attack two upon... Oh, wait, sorry. Um, that minus one was from the attack I just took. Uh, sorry, the the null was the attack I just took. Draw another card. Draw two more cards, James. He, he, they should have had... Oh, uh, disadvantage. Of my armor, they should have had disadvantage. Okay. So the null was the first one, but draw two more for this guy. Two more for this guy. A plus one and a minus one. So same result. So same result. But nice. being honest, my yeah. armor is gone forever now. Well, and this is important about how it affects the the progress of everything else. Okay, uh -huh. then it's going to attack me. This is an attack too. Oh, it pushes me one. It back presumably to where I was. Yep. Ping pong. Fun. And then attack two on the Lurker Deep Wraith. Pulling it. Plus zero. I'll take two damage. I can live with that. Now, which way are you going to push yourself, James? Yeah, hmm. Will I go into the hazardous terrain or not? I will not. Uh, so, the the unfortunate... Actually, you know what? Hold, oh, yeah. No, it is going to be unfortunate. The unfortunate part is that the bones are no longer set up. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Graham points out, did you have any interest in being pushed towards the elite, Greg? Um... Like being pushed to here? No, I think I'm happy the first place I got pushed. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So then... Yeah. Uh, I had a great combo for the two bones, but I needed them to be in a place where I could stand next to do them. Oh well. I'll still do some stuff. Uh, however, Snow Imp's turn. So number four, uh, doing Dark Charm, is not going to even have to move to get its target. The... One, two... One, two, three... Drifter! Mm -hmm. Sad. This yeah. is an attack zero. <laughs> it would have been Flash Friend if he hadn't been pushed. <laughs> yeah. Is uh is the Drifter still giving no, because the crude armor's gone. This is an crude attack two. No, attack zero, sorry. Pulling it. Plus two. Now it's a two. Uh with my shield it's nothing. Well, you're brittle. I'm brittled and what? You're brittle. But is isn't it? there an additional oh, thing? Oh, sorry. And that? cursed. Good catch, Craig. Okay. Uh, uh, reinforced shield. Oh, uh, am I going to take the... I'm also going to take the other one, eh? Fuck reinforced shield. I guess I'm just cursed. Yeah, oh, it's well, coming. Oh, no, well, one curse is better than two curses. I'll use reinforced shield and not take this curse. Yeah. One is definitely better than two when you're talking about bad things. Um, so this time, yeah, let's squeeze <laughs> you closer to the elite this time, right? Uh, yeah. Because there's, th I do not see this guy sticking around very long. Okay. Uh, and then the other one will do the same thing to you. This is also an attack zero plus one, which is, because you're brittle, two. Oh, it's my nice. shield, it's nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, using up all uh, my shield. Though. Oh, and then you're pushed. Let's put you here. Is Ooh. that away from him? 
Yes, that's a way. Yep, it is. It is. And then it's corpse time, and they're doing the same thing as last time. The normal's gone. The elite goes and accomplishes nothing. What a clown. All right. My brittle's gone. Bunch of clowns. Okay, here we are. Bunch of clowns. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and guarantee the impending doom of this skeleton. Because it's pretty okay. much all I can do. I will move forward <laughs> to with the bottom of slipping into death. And the other part mm -hmm. of the move two on the bottom of slipping to, into death is to cause Bane to want a da adjacent damaged enemy with four or hey. fewer hit points. I'll Bane this guy just in case I don't kill him right now uh, with the top of Hollow Aura, which is an attack three with Pierce two. little insurance uh, on this attack. So attack three, pierce two, so ignoring its shield. Hey, it's a null. But it's okay. The thing's still so going to just, die. It'll just die at the end of its turn, yeah? Yeah, it gets unless to... It heals? It gets to attack once more, unless it heals, but I don't I don't think the bones have any healing. Or do I think they? they do. I think well, they we'll have find a heal. It. We'll find it together. It'll be very frustrating. Also, the imps us. might be able to heal it. Well, there's many ways in this which this could be frustrating. Yeah, there's uh, many ways in which you could fail, James. Think but, of them all with me. But <laughs> if it comes to that, I will kill it. Oh, hey, I've been accidentally putting all my cards in the lost pile. I'll move them to the Discord pile, and my situation's looking better. Looking better indeed. All right. Shuffling my deck uh, for next okay. time. That's the end of round two. No elements have been infused, so we've been ducking mm -hmm. the... Uh, attempts of the enemies to benefit themselves i am going after the elite uh no, i'm going after the elite I'm gonna hammer some damage on it probably not okay. you know enough to kill it because it has it's at full health but it's a good plan smash okay. that guy smash hmm. him just smash him bash uh, him. okay i will also join you in fighting the elite uh so if possible, try to keep that ice tile cleared. The one if right I, in front of it? If I have to pivot, I can pivot. But right. but if I'm able to help with that, I would love to. Uh, yeah. Oh! Wait. Wait. On my turn, did I... Yes. Hollow Aura infuses dark. I don't have my element tokens even. Didn't even take them out. Where are they? Here they are. A little darkness in the air. It's waning now, of course. Uh, well, I'm going to act fairly quickly and uh, induce suffering on as large a scale as I can. Which is the better? Ooh, ooh. Actually, there's a case to be made. No. Yes? No? Ah! <laughs> okay, I have decided. I'm ready. Here we go. Everybody ready? Yes, we are. Well, ready. round three. Put them up, team. Boom! Okay, and then... Oh, got to shuffle these snow imps. One second here. Shuffly, 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 shuffly. No point in riffling a deck this small, I don't think. So I draw, draw, draw. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. Good, good okay. choice. Sound off. Deep Wraith. Uh, not Deep Wraith. Pain Conduit. I'm the Deep Wraith. 23. 23. How about you, Drifter? Also 23. <laughs> okay, boys. 56. 65. Oh, King Conduit. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> is not going to be going first, though. Uh, oh, no. So you're. Oh, wait. Hold on. You're both 23? Yeah. Yeah. I'm 23. But my second was 45. Is that in between the Pain Conduit and the Drifter? No, it's ahead. It's first. Ahead. It's okay. first. Yeah. Very. I thought you made a bad guy was going ahead of us. Uh, oh, they are. They are. Uh, oh, shit. In frustrating ways. The uh, Snow Imps. We'll go first with phase out 
They're going to give themselves shield five, heal themselves one, uh, and then uh, infuse any element. Then the living okay. bones will do eternal life, giving themselves an additional shield one and healing. I said they had a heal. Yeah. Yeah. You, you brought that energy. Uh, and then the frozen corpse yeah. will do nothing oh, right. special, which is just a regular attack. Listen, I've been beating myself up because I made a joke in the fantasy basketball group chat of, of my strategy of getting good draft position and then having great injury luck keeps paying off. And like at that exact moment, somebody fell on Joel Embiid's leg and busted up his knee. And then Terry Rosier, uh, at least his groin's okay, but he messed up his knee. Uh, and then Jimmy Butler's like grandmother died. Oh, Jesus. It's not great. And it's, it's like, I like um, that you make Terry Rosier sound like a fancier man than he is. Terry Rosier. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard his name said aloud. It's been, it, it's been tough that Jimmy Butler is having a, having a sad day, few days too. Well, I even like occasionally now, because I have a fantasy basketball team, I like throw on a game. And I've only ever heard them say Scary Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole I have a whole headcanon about Scary Terry where he's really, really sensitive about his groin injury. And so he's always intimidating sports reporters to make like whatever question they ask him. He's like, you make sure that you put it in there. It's my knee. It's not my groin is fine. And his eye, like his <laughs> eyes never close because he's Scary Terry. Anyway, so the snow imps phase out. Which you would think it makes them invisible, but it doesn't. But they get shield five. Nope. They might as well be. And they heal themselves one. Which, eh, I mean, that's not nothing to number four, but it is what it is. What element not do enough. we want to trick them into infusing? What elements do you use, James? Darkness. Rich, you use anything? Yeah, I use fire and wind. Well, wind is probably wind. safer because we A know dark that. wind blows. All right. Great. Uh, all right. Living Bones. The Living Bones sh add one shield, so they now have two shield. Uh, and yeah. I feel much the same way, Graham, because I haven't used Skull Collection yet, but I shall. Uh, the well, Living Bones he kill themselves damage. two. He does take the damage first. He does take first. a damage first, so he, he's down to one. He's down to four health instead of being fully healed. Okay. And his bane and his wound go away, frustratingly. Yep. But, okay, we'll figure something out. I have to go first. Wait, that's no imp, that snow imp near me is dead if it takes two damage? Yes. yes. Okay. But it has shield five. I, like, only deal direct damage. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck well, the shield, then. shall I just go to town on this stupid yeah. skeleton and get it done once and for all? Or should I really yeah. go to town on the... Because I can really mess up this elite, too. Well, yeah, but we don't want to just leave Rich yeah. back here. With You're right. Two skeletons. You're not leave me. Okay. <laughs> leave uh, me. Abandon me. <laughs> I will consume Perfectly one skull fine. and use skull collection. <laughs> I'll and slide the skull, up behind you. Or I'm using the whole trophy mechanic for the first time uh, to poison living bones for... What? Uh, living bones, sorry, six. Okay. It's poisoned. Uh, yeah, uh, Graham makes a good point that like poisoning the elite could be beneficial here. Uh, yeah, yeah, go fight that guy. Leave me back here. I yeah. got flesh fresh. Okay. With the okay. bottom, with the bottom of Black Scythe, I will move to onto the ice. But I bump. We're all we're all using a good strategy here. You only go sliding on the ice when there's a bumper at the end, the big belly of the frozen corpse, uh, to bounce off of. And then a new I'm trying out one of my X cards. So we get another the debut of a badass card name with the top of haunting brutality. I okay, will Jesus. consume darkness, which turns an attack three into an attack three that causes wound and poison. Hey. Uh, and wow, grants okay. me an experience. I gain an experience, uh, and then I guess I'll, I'll wait till after I finish the attack to do the other thing I'll do, which I can do. Uh, so, attack three. Here we go. Pulling it. Plus one. That's more amenable. 
So three damage altogether because of his shield. You take his one damage because of his retaliate. One damage. All right. Take one damage. He is poisoned and wounded, just the way I like it. And then I'll uh, I'll drink my healing potion and recover three health. Three. I'm back up to eight. The healing potion, which I'd never really like stopped to think about. The healing potion looks disgusting, but I think that's a problem. It's like a like it's just the flask it's in. Yeah, it's only got two things in it. I can't remember what those two things are, but rock I, root and arrow vine. Yeah, like the yeah, the concoction itself. Yeah, like I'm sure it tastes bad, but it looks mm. way grosser than it has to because they put it in a bottle that looks like it's made out of orchid skin. Okay, that felt good. Yeah, feels good. Okay, great. I'm done. All right, pain. I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, fresh friend. Flesh friend. Flesh friend. Fresh friend. Fresh friend. Flesh friend uh, will step forward. Fortunately, we control his movement so he doesn't bumble into... Or wait, do you want him to bumble into the hazardous terrain? Yeah, what's the ha hazardous terrain? Is three damage or two, two damage? damage? Two damage. Yeah, bumble. But All do right. I control it? I don't think I do control it. Yeah, we don't, don't control think... his movement. Would he do that? That's interesting. Yes, because his focus is this, so he would do either this or this. Right, and they're equal, and it doesn't count. Are they that stupid? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they got to be that stupid. Okay, right. so he takes two damage. Two damage to flesh friend. Uh, so he doesn't suffer that. I suffer that. And also the snow imp suffers that. Snow imp dead. Curse Blat. All right. Snow in four. He's within range three of me, right? Yeah. Dead. Yeah. And now the flesh friend doesn't attack. Yeah. Now flesh friend punches that guy. All right. Who has attack a shield, one. So. Yeah. Shield two. Attack one. Plus one. Plus one. No damage. Still not a bad result. All right. Pain Conduit's right. official turn. Okay. Uh... With the top of Blood Ritual, I will attack four on the... Which bones should I attack? One has four health. How much shield? They have shield two this round? Yes. Yeah, so one has one damage and one has no damage. So it's really... The one with one damage. Okay. Uh, plus zero. Oh, what's the range on it? Three. Three. Oh. One, two, three. Yep, so two yep. damage to him. Okay, so by doing the top of Blood Ritual, I suffer two damage, and then he also suffers two damage. Oh, and he's dead. Chris Black. And I have lost the agony of others. Goodbye. Well, useful. You got use out yeah. of it. You kills in one um, turn is not bad. Tragically, I don't get to pick up the skull because he didn't die from my bean, but that's okay. You shattered the skull. And then I will play the bottom of reversal of fate on the next damage i suffer from an attack and the attacker suffers an equal amount of damage okay click trail snip click yeah, let's add a high-pitched whirring sound oh, of displeasure i would like i would like to drink shines. my my healing potion all right okay healing Three potion. Health for you okay now i'm done okay very good Drifter. Okay, I'm going to move three just to be on the other. Oh, actually, could you lift him up for one second, the frozen corpse there? Just so yeah. I can see behind him. He's got a rock behind him. Rock behind him. Okay, so I move two up to be just on the other side of him. Uh, because I ended my turn adjacent to exactly one enemy, I get to uh, move one of my tokens back. Your favorite pastime? Yes. Then I will attack him for, he is poisoned, so this becomes an attack four, which becomes an attack six because of crushing weight. Oh. So attack six. Can't quite kill him, but attack six. You can't kill okay, him. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, if I pull like plus five two. times two. Or a plus two. Six plus two is eight. Uh, 
It's a plus two. It's a plus zero. So okay, well, six damage minus one from his shield is five damage. Did you incorporate the poison in that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what was what was it again? Five damage. Yeah. And well, he's down to three. Uh, I didn't kill him, so I don't get to move anything else down. Womp womp. All right. Womp womp. Uh, so he's going to do nothing special, which involves punching uh, the Deep Wraith in the face. So this <laughs> is an attack three. Pulling it. Minus one. Hey, that's not bad. Hey. I'll take two damage. I can live with two damage. I, of course, am pushed one, which I can live with. And that's that. That's the round. Round three. Done and dusted. Okay. Uh, well, I got a short rest. I have only two cards uh, currently in my hand, so I suppose the move is to just use them. I'll try to oh, go. Oh, and I take, uh, sorry, I take a damage. I forgot because of his retaliate. That's fair. Yeah. Everybody Very takes fair. the damage sometimes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go, I'm going to act quickly and attack enemies. Uh, I'm going to do say this for for playing a fairly straightforward character for once. Sometimes it really focuses the mind on what to do. Just like, hey, I'll move so I'm next to something and then I'll hit it. <laughs> yeah, so that it so that it dies. Yeah, boom. And then I get to wear its skull. Hopefully. Okay. Uh I will ooh, one Yeah, yeah, I'm with two. So I, I will uh... two monster decks and the modifier deck. Yikes. So hang tight, gang. I'm ready, but the cards are not. Actually, I suppose I'll hold off on the modifier deck in the hopes that the monsters don't go first, and so I get to shuffle it while someone's talking. Okay. All set. Round set. four. Is everybody ready? Put them up, yeah. team. <laughs> All right, boom. I know everybody's ready. It still would be nice if somebody said something. <laughs> <laughs> we both gave non-committal yeah. yes. Yeah. You didn't hear that Eve one. Here. Eventually. Okay. Uh, all right. Sound <laughs> off. Pain conduit. 25. Okay. Uh, Drifter. First time we don't match. 14. 14. All right. Well, the Drifter's going first. I'm going to 28, so I'll be after the pain conduit. And we will all precede our foes. All right. Who will go? Let's just clear this room. In the following order. Frozen Corpse, which is doing Cold Snap. A move plus one, and then an attack minus one. It could consume Frost to add Brittle to its attack. Uh, then the Snow Imp, which does Brittle, doing the Dark Charm thing again. So it could consume any element, like this Waning Wind, uh, to to add a target to a, an attack minus one that also does curse on top of the brittle and the living bones will do that nothing wind. special. That one's going to be gone. I had a feeling that that might be the case. Uh, but first Greg drift away. I'm just going to fucking murder this uh, corpse. Um, so I am going to do uh, one, two, one, two, three. how, uh, how are you? hurt still james after you're healing yeah i'm hurt a little okay so i'm gonna heal you range three heal two hey hey sweet uh and then i'm going to use breakthrough so this is an attack four which becomes an attack six because of my weight which becomes an attack uh, seven because of the poison which becomes an attack seven due to the poison and it has ps2 so hey all right unless i pull a no he's dead he's extremely dead Plus one. He is Plus very one. dense. Kaploof. All right. I'm not doing as good at collecting skulls as I did last time. But that's okay. Mm. Otherwise, I feel like things are going pretty well. All right. Okay. That's me done. Well done. I should Pain. give you the skulls that I'm collecting. Yeah. Pain conduit. <laughs> or sorry, flesh friend. Flesh friend doesn't attack one on, the, one. on the bones. Plus one. One damage. Hey, that's one damage. One damage. It's nice when the flesh friend contributes. Put it on the board. Flesh friend's having a day. He's yeah. doing good. 
Uh, he's taking a lot of hits, but he's not feeling any of them. Yeah. All right. With the bottom of transferred injury, I will he's heal He's on a tear three. like many of his ligaments. <laughs> so I'm back up to full, and I give myself wound. Nice. Um, okay. Then with the top of line of transfer, you only hurt the ones you love. Attack two, range three, but I'll consume the wind to add plus two, so it's attack four, range three, and then I'll remove the wound from myself and give it to him. Okay. Delicious. So, he... so attack four plus zero. So, uh, so three, damage three damage and a wound, which is a death sentence, and I can collect the skull. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of, is that your turn? Yeah. All right. So, James, it's up to you now. All right. Well, <clears throat> I appreciate Go that ahead. healing. Yep. Yeah. I appreciate the healing, Greg, because I'm going to uh, throw it away. I will use the <laughs> bottom. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah, this will work. I will use the bottom of Ink Cloud to move two, but it's going to be this move two. Whoosh. That's one. And then, right into the spikes. Two damage. You could have zoomed into the spikes if it was more fun for you to do that. Oh, right. I could have gone ding, ding. No. Yeah. I, li I like the sliding out of control, landing on the normal snow, and then going, oh, what the heck? And <laughs> leaping into the spikes. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's the bottom of Ink Cloud, just using it as a normal move. And then, with the top of Tumultuous Panic... I will open with an attack one on Snow Imp number whatever it is, seven, seven. Attack one, pulling it, plus zero, is one damage. I will move two and just for flavor's sake, get off of the spikes. I know they don't cause continuous damage. Uh, and then I will do an attack two on the Snow Imp. Okay, pulling don't it, pull any minuses. Plus zero. Hey, that's dead Snow Imp. Clean kill. I get a tiny little skull, which I'll wear like an earring, even though I don't have ears, but I can wedge it somewhere. I can dangle it and somehow. And then you get the platonic ideal of a skull when the next turn the living bones dies. Yeah. <laughs> Just a pure encyclopedia picture skull. Okay. The frozen corpse does nothing. It's dead. I don't want to get all existential, folks, but... It's all you're ever going to do after you're dead. Uh, Snow Imp, likewise, dead. The Living Bones dies. Present tense. Poof. All right. We've got a great loot haul in this room. What a place to end the night. You want yeah, to shut her down? Yeah, um, if everyone is planning on long resting, we can do that right now. I am planning on long I'm resting. I'm planning on long rest. Yeah, it's, it's a long rest kind of moment, isn't it? All right. Let's uh, see I the final round okay. long rest round. All right. We're going to knock out round five. I like these cards too much. Uh, which yeah, do you want to move? It's true. The adjective, you're right, Graham. The adjective is frozen, not living. So mm. there's no real explanation for why it's moving around. It could all just be like, you know, like gas settling and stuff. Do either uh, of you have uh, any negative conditions? No. No. Um, also, Rich, you do have the option during this long rest, if you'd like it, to uh, move the flesh friend closer to you. I don't know if you want that. He would just move on the ice and then zip over to the next spot. Oh, Should I man. move up? Well, are you, are you long resting? You can't. No. Long rest, move up. Oh, you're not long resting. Rich no, is doing I just something. Short, I just short rested. So yeah. I'm gonna have, while you guys long rest, I should move towards uh, the door, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, flesh friend moves. goes first, though. So, it's up to you when he moves. Okay. All right. Well, round five. Hey, it's the ping conduit's turn. It's gotta be. Yeah. Um... Uh, <laughs> You should definitely move up, by the way. You should try to move up as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, with bottom of shared affliction, I'll move up three. And that puts wind in the air, at least. Oh, no, it probably only puts wind in the air if I remove the negative condition I have. You could get this double loot by only moving two. 
you could get the double loop by just moving one. Well, yes, I one movement point, but moving two hexes. Yeah, done. All right. Whee! The pain conduit draws two loots. A snow thistle! Makes sense that we would find that here. Mm hmm. And a single coin. Okay. Add that to the pain conduit pile. And then. And then. We short rest. We long rest. Long rest. Means you and me okay. both heal, but we do not get our items back. <coughs> nope. No. Bless you, Rich. I haven't Thank used you. my spent item, but if I had, it would be consumed. Uh, but you know what? I think this is a good first challenge. It's it's worse for you, Greg, obviously, because you have more items, but mm. playing a new character who has one uh, one spent item that also, like, my spent item is a jagged sword. I can add wound, but lots of my attacks already do wound. I can live with only getting to use that once. I didn't even get around to using my swords last time. So, cool. All right. Uh, I, oh, I, this is not a bad position to be in, where it hurts to lose literally any of these wonderful cards. They're just all great. But, uh... Yeah, I think I, I think I can let this go. No, I don't know that I need that. Okay. Okay, I've made my decision. I've healed. That was round five. Uh, tight little episode tonight. Solid 90 mm -hmm. minutes. But we got we got through five rounds. Hey, man, that's room. A movie. We're in a strong position to uh, to go. Oh man. I, like, obviously, you don't have to spend a lot of time on X. And I didn't spend any time on X to see this because it was screenshotted and brought to Blue Sky where the cool people do their microblogging. Um, but... A funny way of saying Tumblr. It's a no no shortage. <laughs> Tumblr is just blogging, Greg. <laughs> it's not microblogging. Not uh, the way I do. Yeah. So... Everything's uh, micro over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Uh, so <laughs> you, you don't have to spend much time on X if you do, uh, or if you're just a screenshot collector for Blue Sky, to find some you know tech enthusiast saying something absolutely stupid about both the potential of generative AI uh, and in so doing also revealing their ignorance of art and what its purpose is. But I saw a guy saying, we're five years away from when you can... Uh, Upload a no upload any book, and then have a f the movie adaptation prepared for you and tailored exactly to your own preferences, uh, like the individual. And then he said the individualization of content, and I think that's great. It's like okay, first of all, in five years that is not going to be a thing. There's absolutely no. not no way, absolutely not, not be able to do that. Not five, not really any. Unless there's some kind of crazy, either we come up with fusion I power. I mean, I'm not going to put anything out 50 to 100 years. Anything is possible. No. Technology moves crazy quick. Well, not in okay. five years. Barring, That's like saying we'll be on Mars okay. in five years. If there's cold fusion, like endless clean energy, or there's some kind of crazy computational breakthrough that can make this stuff not eat so much computing resources yeah, to, like to operate. The hollow deck. Then maybe sometime in the future that could be done. But that would have to happen pretty soon. Because if they just keep developing it the way it currently is, and it keeps on getting more powerful and they come up with more forms of it, uh, we're, we're just going to lose the climate change sustainability race. And it won't matter. It will never develop to that potential because we will be in the wastes fighting, telling our children and our grandchildren about what movies were. Uh, but then also, even if that were going to happen in five years, that sounds horrible. Mm. like oh man i want to watch a movie that no artists contributed to so like it's just the random sputterings of a computer that made all of the artistic decisions to tailor to my tastes 
which also doesn't really like that really sounds like a careful what you wish for. Like even if with yeah. human directors, you could make it so that all the directors were just trying to figure out what they could make to make you personally happy. You would probably get actually sick of that pretty quickly. But then also oh. what you want to watch a film that you can never discuss with another human being. Because all the other people are just watching their own customized adaptations of the same book. And who wrote this book? There's also... Probably this guy's dream. Nobody. I, you've been talking for a long time, but all I'm hearing is I could just remake Godzilla Minus One over and over again and just keep watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. You can just... <laughs> here's the thing, though. But you can just keep watching Godzilla that, Minus One. <laughs> that person's initial premise showcases uh, I mean, a flawed idea. <laughs> Which is the idea that somebody would only ever read a book if they wanted to see a movie adaptation of the book. Well, he's saying upload it. So maybe you read the book. And who wrote this book? Probably ChatGPT, right? So the book sucks anyway. Uh, yeah. And then I saw another guy said, he said, to, uh, watching a movie in 2005, let's go to the theater. Watching a movie in 2011, let's put it on Netflix. And it is true that streaming like devastated the the movie industry the movie business and people going to theaters you know it was really good but, theaters, though. what Godzilla, Godzilla minus, minus one, one? <laughs> and many things yeah. barbie and oppenheimer were both great saw them on the same day did the gimmick um mm -hmm. but the other thing is that what was the other thing that i wanted to say 2000 okay so netflix did Thank have an ad <laughs> netflix did have an adverse <laughs> effect we're going to wrap up. Just let me finish. <laughs> Netflix did have an adverse effect on the film industry, but the experience of... The, Netflix did not disrupt the experience of, wow, now we can watch movies at home. That was actually a whole separate thing from going to the theater. You could rent physical media. <laughs> but anyway, and then he said, and then he was like, 2025, tonight I'm going to get a Sora, which is OpenAI's new video generating bullshit thing uh i'm gonna get sora to make a whole new season of this show that i like for me tailored to like my preferences and it's like that yeah my personal tastes like okay we're gonna literally we're gonna burn an acre of rainforest <laughs> so so that you can watch an ephemeral single binge watch a single season of a show that you can never talk about with anybody else <laughs> What, what is, what is the, I know they call it content. They don't call it art, but what, what do they think it's for? <laughs> what do they think the value of it is? Maybe they don't understand the value. Well, I mean, of things. if you hate rainforests, like I do, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Listen, <laughs> listen, there's a, there's a whole like sequel song to colors of the wind to be written <laughs> about, about generative AI. Uh, anyway, so check it out. We're done. Uh, this weekend. Uh, we've got tomorrow, probably a little earlier. Uh, I got to figure it out. Watch the schedule. But sometime either in the late morning or early afternoon here, I'm going to be playing King's Quest VII, The Princeless Bride, which has been pretty cool so far. In my first session, I enjoyed it. And uh, I expect to enjoy it in the remaining sessions. It would be weird if the gameplay abruptly changed in some way that I hated. Uh, and I don't think the plot is heavy enough that they can ruin it with a bad choice. So I expect to just enjoy the game. On Sunday, back in that labyrinth of worlds, baby. Ultima Underworld 2. I don't know when, because a lot depends on if and when we are playing Dungeon with the lad, Rich. Is that coming off? Got a sense of that? Uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll do it next week. Okay. So, I still don't know when it's going to be, but watch the schedule. I'll put it on the schedule. I was back very surprised to hear him say he wanted to wait till everyone on his team was available <laughs> but he selected his team and he's sticking with it okay that's awesome that's exciting uh so i'm really looking forward to that and so ultima underworld 2 labyrinth of worlds i broke through the wall i'm into the eighth world it's the ethereal void a bunch of nothingness and then brightly colored uh primary color like pathways you can go on the last world. I'm getting real close to the end of this, so I'm excited. Probably by the end of February, I'll be done, and we'll be on to something, which is fun. Playing new games is fun. Although playing Ultima Underworld 2, Labyrinth of the Worlds is also fun, so I'll enjoy it while it's still around. And then, Tuesday, I really do hope 
that Greg and I uh, get together and continue on with our Skies exploration. Guys are clear, drinks. Yeah, forecast is good. Uh, so we just got to stay in good health and all that kind of stuff. And we'll be playing. By, by to- the way, for those who don't live in Halifax, right call to cancel on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. But- we, it would have been Greg would have had to stay here for the night uh, had mm. he come. Which, you know, like we have a guest room, but but uh, it'd be a lot of work to get the bed set up. And Greg would rather sleep in his bed with his with his fiance, So that's fair. Uh, yeah, but we'll be playing Jalico's Takeda Shinjin and Tecmo's Tecmo Night. Looking forward to that. Also excited because we're like also around 48. Ep- we're in the 40s of episodes. And I finally figured out what I should say for the intro. So I'm going to say it and it's going to be right. And then I will feel good. So that's about time. Took a while, but we got there. I improved my way to it. Now I see it all in my mind's eye. And then before you know it, it'll be Friday again. And I'm not going to tease you with Michaela because she definitely won't be here because we'll just be finishing this scenario that she'd not join us for. Uh, but nonetheless, another Friday brings us closer to Michaela's debut. And I'm enjoying this strong foundation scenario. And again, it's Marcel. He could throw a whole bunch of weird special rules and, and overcomplicate things in the remaining two rooms. But so far, I think that was a well-chosen special rule and core mechanic to build at least this first room around. I'm having a great time. And I'm really starting to dig uh, the Lurker Deep Wraith, getting the feel, I think, and the pain conduit's working out great. Uh, mm-hmm. It's all very exciting. So yeah, that's where we've been. That's where we're going. If you stuck around to the end, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you came and you left, you can't hear my voice. I'm glad you stopped by anyway. So thanks for stopping by. And until the next time that we're slipping and sliding and getting spiked on the ice, take care of yourselves and be kind to everyone you meet.